<coughs> Reverend, <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. All right, I'm sir. Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion and then we disappear we need more commotion one score and one whole hell of a lot of noise we ain't so good at doing scores anymore dutch are you feeling all right arthur sure fine pardon me for interrupting brought a friend arthur hello hello dutch this is eagle flies his father is a great chief Charles and I, we pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. We try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Jeez, this is what we're getting ourselves involved with now. Uh, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks a lot for joining me. My name's Mac or Chuck Joystick. So that was Eagle Flies, who we met in a, an episode a couple ago, uh, who we helped rob documents from the oil refinery. Right, so we've got to go and get these guys' horses back. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Jesus. This can be done so I think we're heading to Van Horn. Uh, so it's quite a horse ride. Uh, so when we get a bit nearer, we will see you there. Right, welcome back. So it looks like we're going to get a couple of boats and stuff. I think I might get a better weapon. Uh, what should we take? I think we'll take a bolt action rifle and I think we'll have a shotgun. Yeah, we'll have the pump action. Let's load ourselves up. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on. Let's go. Right, let's get in these bloody canoes. Well, I like the way they make half a bloody row. It's got tuberculosis for Christ's sake. We need to get that boat ashore. Nice. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> oh, we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. This gang doesn't do very well with boats. Right, we're going to get a side up. Good luck. Now we're going to get it on the boat and sort the anchor out. So the horses must be on there. to the side. God, they've got um, Pull up alongside. guards oh, yeah. about as well. All right, let's get on. Oh, there's one over there. 
will do him. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Subdue them. All oh, right. Okay. So we can't kill them. <laughs> That's a shame. Stealth knockout. Oh. Uh, I don't know if that was his neck, but um, he's subdued anyway. I'm gonna go smoke. All right. Be back in Jesus. a bit. I can get him. All oh, oh, right. He's gone. No, not again. Yeah, I've a good head all night. I'll be retiring in the morning at this rate. Here they go. Just deal, will ya? Any down right here? There's a couple. What the hell? We'll take it back, what's ours? You did. Wasting my time. Jesus. Right. Gee, bloody hell, right, just gotta do the anchor. I wanted to shoot him, but I thought of best not. Right, plant dynamite. Oh Jesus Christ, right. Leg it. Come on, Arthur! Run for Christ's sake. Oh, it's like the bloody Titanic. You seem to be going pretty fast, Dad. I'm trying. <laughs> We're headed to those rocks. Oh my God. Hold on. It is. It is like Titanic. What is wrong with you? Boys, all right back there. Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked. And we're taking on water. Oh, no. Boss, get him out of here. I think horses are good swimmers, aren't they? I hope they've got their speedos on. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. <laughs> the horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll right. get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. <laughs> Right, so we're going to mount them. Over here, come on. Come here. Right, come on. Are these two following? Yeah, come on. Follow me. Bloody hell, what a catastrophe. Right, I think the other two are coming. Yeah, lovely. I hope there's no bloody crocodiles in here. Yeah. Nearly on that now. Right, so we got the horses back somewhere or ever. Yeah, they're still coming. Come on, let's go. Right, beauty. Let's take them over here. Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out of Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. Oh, no, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. 
I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Be graceful. Yes. Would you? Sure. I'll speak with him. We head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, D Dutch is uh, losing the plot, isn't he? Bloody, have we got a bloody gold medal? I think we did. Jesus. Oh, we're awesome. Um, that's the first and uh, most probably the last one we'll get in this game. <laughs> right, okay, so that was a strange one, really. We got the horses back for the uh, reservation. So we'll just check the map, see what we'll be doing in the next steps. I'd forgotten all about Carmel Driscoll was getting hanged. So... There's John Marston at the bridge, so we've got to blow that. Uh, we've said we'll go and talk to Rain's Fall for Charles. And that's say the Adler in St. Denis. So I think that'll be for the Combe O'Driscoll hanging. So we've got uh, a few good episodes coming up. So that's it for this one. A bit of a strange one, but thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you did like what you saw and you would consider subscribing, that'd be an absolute bonzer. But until the next one, stay safe and take it easy.